originally this area, it had interesting names like Misery Hill because a lot of lepers and criminals lived in this part of Dublin. Then by the turn of the 20th century, it was mostly docking families, families involved with seafaring and fishing and so forth. The people that still live here have formed active associations to keep themselves involved in the decision making that uh, regularly goes on. But I know around the Pier Street area, they've bonded themselves into a community and open community centres. And probably the initiative is coming from them that the new Docklands has to interact, if you like, with the older communities. And they're very feisty people that I know in these organisations. And uh, good for them, they're not going to be submerged by all this modern development. History Aid was great. You know, there were all big families and loads of kids playing around, wasn't it? Do you yeah. know? It was really great aid, a great community it was, you know what I mean? It and they did work hard after that. Oh, they did. They, they did, yeah. Broke uh, the uh, the 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 now weather. They were out now. I mean, they were doing the whole of the boat. Yeah. When the boats come oh, in. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. well, it was great when the boats were on. Oh, the when they were all in. And they had to stand in their line and get, like, say, burden and so on, so on, so on. To get a day's walk or maybe it lasted to a week. You were lucky if you got a wee. So there'd be no walk in the, on the docks and you wouldn't get any labour. So you had to leave the horse and you get, get grass. grass. Yeah. Yeah. The only was my brother, he worked over in Bowlings. And I did another brother worked in Red Armstrong's. That used to be over just over the bridge. But that was the only two locals. We didn't realise we were poor. Yeah, no, 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 because it was all yeah. mostly tenement yeah, houses. Yeah. You had the room and so and so had the room up above you. Yeah. And everyone used the one tile out the yard. So the people here, they're mainly transient, but there are a lot of new apartments here as well. So it's now become a new living quarter of Dublin. In fact, this part of Dublin, the Docklands, we like to call it, is, is very apart from Dublin. Many Dublin people don't even venture down here. And it's a place waiting for discovery. I guess it's just how quirky it is and how you see different kinds of people. You see office people, you see like young teenagers, everyone kind of mixing around and it's so urban as well. It's open and it's quite uh, a lot of different nationalities around so I kind of feel like I'm coming to Italy when I go to Il Valentino. When I, when I moved down here the hotel wasn't built, the theatre wasn't built. <laughs> um, so it's changing all the time and evolving. You got a nice sunrise. Uh, at the skyline, particularly over this neck of the woods here. You know, the buildings add to that. The sun shines right on my place. You know, on yeah, the opposite to you. We, we had to well. um, stop a building facing us there a few years, two years ago. It's going up eight story and we'd be completely in darkness. Yeah. The way near that to City Key Church, where there's another new building. Oh, going higher than building. the one that's facing that's us. That's a horrible building. So we can't even look down that way where we could see down like kind of onto the liffy. No, not into the water, but straight across the water. Yeah. But well, now you can't see that now. It seems this ugly big life saw. It's all to do with, um, how would you say, this redevelopment. But it's mostly for offices. That's all. That's all. When it comes six o'clock, all that place that blows up. And, and it's it's, it's dead, 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 you know yeah. what I mean? Around this particular area now, it's a lot of uh, IT companies bringing in and paying for uh, their interns or paying for their employees to live in this area, pushing up the rents and dumping people out. People are local. You know, people consider themselves local. I'm from the inner city, Dublin, originally. Do you know, so like I lived out across and towards Yet Street, so and lived up here as well. But because of rising prices and rents, I had to get up and go elsewhere. Do you know? The difficulty, I suppose, about the new residents having contact with the former or the, the older residents here is that the newer residents don't themselves have a sense of being a resident in this area. They may have an apartment here, they may work here, but they don't see themselves as really belonging here yet. I think it's going to take a couple of generations. Yeah, well, I think it's a bad thing. Well, you don't get to know them. them. And they don't get to know their neighbours, even some of them that you, we know a couple of the people here. Yeah. They don't know who lives next door. In yeah. the apartments, but it's like luxury to them. In the flats, in the flats, for instance, you'd never be lonely or depressed. There is nice people still, but a lot of them. A lot of them you don't know, then. and you will just say hello, Jim, that's it, hello, boy, but you wouldn't know that name, yeah. which you'd like to know sometimes. Well, I suppose if you were brought together, yeah, 
Well, like they probably have their They their have their own taste. And we have ours. We have ours, you know what I mean? I've never seen them mixed in with us on that way. No. No, it's no. a separate thing for them over there. But I don't think I'd ever get used to their ways, it's the way they go on. No, the younger people have a different, different way, way going on. You don't worry that, about that, them. We'd lose our rag, you know the kind of way. Well, I would. Well, I would, because I, would, because I don't want to go in You know the kind of way. <laughs> It's inevitable in a city that's evolving and developing that communities change. And maybe uh, the, um, the people who have lived here for generations probably see that they themselves have to change. They themselves have to move on. Stories are a rich part of our legacy. And one of the things we have to maintain in Docklands are the stories of Docklands.